Good morning and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here with Macaroni and Amanda and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is some of Mac's newer skills that he has learned while he's been with us here at school. I know he's had some obedience training prior to coming to school and you want to hike with him and I know that you do have an e-collar that you've not introduced yet and neither have we but we are practicing some off-leash skills. Now he is laying down very nicely next to Amanda's left leg and she's gonna show you the training equipment that we're using. We're using a regular six foot web training leash and we keep the bulk of that leash folded neatly in our right hand, which leaves the left hand free to give any little correction that's needed and the only correction that we give is a little tug and release on the training collar. And that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Mac is a little bit confused because we're working indoors, but it's 100 degrees outside, so we figured this was our best bet. The first exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is healing. Mac healing is proper leash walking, and the command is Mac heal. Now, unfortunately, with a large dog, it's a little bit Mac difficult heal. to demonstrate healing in this close of a space. But he is healing, he makes good eye contact, and Amanda is rewarding him with a click and a treat sometimes, not always. This is your sit-stay, and Amanda has actually dropped the leash with him, backed up all the way across the room. He holds his stays very nicely. When she returns back to him, she just walks back to his shoulders, praises him for a good job, and he likes the happy. He likes you to be pleased with him. He makes great eye contact. You guys have done a great job with him up till now. This time, Amanda has dropped his leash. She uses the clicker to get him to come and sit. That was a great off-leash recall. And I don't think, I think tomorrow's going to be just as bad as today weather-wise. So how much we're going to get to practice outside, I don't know. She'll leave him again in another sit, stay and demonstrate that recall exercise again. And she uses that clicker and it really works to get him focused and pay attention. You don't like the change in the voice. Come on, Mac. Come on, Bob. Come on. I know. Come on. Let's go. Good job. He would be. He would prefer to stay on the carpet for whatever reason, or on the floor, but not both. The next command she's going to demonstrate for you is the down from a heel position. So with him seated at her left, she's going to take her left open palm, press it straight down toward the ground. Stay. And do the one word command to down and stay. And again, you can drop your leash on this command. An off-leash training is basically a process. So we're transitioning him into off-leash. Good job, Bubs. Good job. Come on, Bub. Good job. Come on. Let's go. And if he puts the brakes on or doesn't want to do what Amanda's asking him to do, she just praises him up, uses her Stay. clicker. Stay. This time she dropped her leash. She walks completely out of the camera angle. Mac, come. Come on, Bob. And when she Good uses job. that clicker, he comes. Good job. Good job. So I think between the combination of using a clicker with him for your off-leash work and using your remote, he'll he's more he's, he's more than an awesome dog. I mean, he really is. He has a little bit of stubbornness in there, but for the most part, he's just sweet as sugar and has been a wonderful guest. Now, this time, Amanda will demonstrate the down from a distance. Down. This is a little harder, but he's got it. Stay. So. Matt, come. See, with the clicker, he comes. He associates that clicker with a reward and positive reinforcement. So we have demonstrated for you his ability to heal. When Amanda's healing him off leash, she'll throw the leash just right up over her shoulder. And <laughs> he's like, I'm done. We did all of our, our work. You just throw the leash up over your shoulder, and that way he doesn't feel you riding the leash. 
but if you need to reach down and grab it, you have it. Got an itch. <laughs> <laughs> so we've demonstrated for you his ability to heal, to sit automatically, to sit and stay both on and off leash, to sit, stay, and come both off and on leash, to lay down from heal and to lay down from a distance and to come from those commands using your clicker. Um, he, like I said, he's been a wonderful guest. We've enjoyed having him. He's very, very smart. Kind of the sky's the limit with this guy. And we will see you tomorrow. And thank you for choosing Nora's dog training.